gonna make it, just keep chasing your dreams. No matter how hard it seems, we gotta keep working a little bit longer. Every day getting a little bit stronger. We're gonna make it, just keep chasing your dreams. No matter how hard it seems, we gotta keep working a little bit longer. Every day getting a little bit stronger. Welcome to Dream Chaser Radio. 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 What's up, Internet Land? Welcome to Dream Chaser Radio. I'm your host, Will Lane. Today's subject is going to be commitment. I want to talk about commitment. We need more commitment in the world. And not commitment just in the sense of a relationship. Sure, that's an aspect of it, but I want to go beyond you know, marriage and relationships. I'm just talking about a commitment to something that means something to you. You know, a commitment to your health and fitness, a commitment to your personal development, a a commitment to building your mind, you know, something with some substance to it, and and sure, relationships come into there, but I've always been of the thought that, you know, you have to take care of yourself first before you can take care of someone else, you know, it's just like in the airplane, you know, with the oxygen mask, you put your oxygen oxygen mask on first, you know, and then you help the person next to you. And it's not a lot of people committing to anything of any substance. You know, you might be committed to watching a TV show or committed to Facebook, but when it comes to ve- committed to, you know, maybe developing your mind, reading a book or two every month, going to the gym, you know, anytime, you know, three to five times a week, making a commitment to even learn a new skill or a new profession. And a lot of it has to do with fear. I mean, back in the day, you know, people used to commit to to something. I mean, once somebody said they were going to do something, they did it until it was basically done. Now, with that being said, the world was a lot bigger back then. You know, now the world's a lot smaller. There's a lot more options for everything. You know, it's real easy to get ADD. But when you fail to commit to anything, you really take a lot of the power that you have in the world to create away from yourself. Because once you say you're going to do something, if you just stop doing it just because, I mean, what what do you really go after at that point? When do you ever achieve mastery at anything? Because things are always going to come up. You know, life is always going to push you around. Something's going to fall through. Something's going to break. Emergency's going to come up. But, you know, when you have a strong enough commitment, none of that, none of that really stops you. You know, because, yeah, sure, people show up for work, but that's not a real commitment. I mean, let's be honest. Most people show up at a job and they do the least amount of work in order to collect their check every two weeks. So let's not kid ourselves about that. But entrepreneurship, more than anything else, it requires a serious commitment. And... If you look at the statistics, I think right now it's like nine, nine, nine and a half out of ten businesses actually fail. And a lot of that has to do with a failure to commit. And not necessarily when you're in the business, but, you know, even beforehand, you know, you committed to putting together a good business plan or you committed to get getting a good network together, a good support system. goes across the board the African Moors the Moors actually when they went to take over a country when they were going to conquer a country they would, they would actually sail their boats up to shore get out and then burn them you know, they bring their families with them ride the boats put the boats up on shore and burn the boats that's a hell of a commitment you know it's either do what you came to do or die pretty much and that's the attitude that you really have to take in business the really the attitude that you have to take if you're really trying to take your life to the next level there was a study done by Columbia University this is a a number of years ago and they took a set of students that were learning to play an instrument and Before they they taught them how to play the instrument, and I forget what the instrument was, violin or piano or something like that. And they asked them, 
Okay, what is your interest level in learning to play this instrument? Are you willing to dedicate your life to playing the instrument? Or are you just really interested? You just want to be, in, you know, you're just interested in playing the instrument. Which one is it? You dedicating your life to this? Or are you just interested in learning how to play? Well, it came back to him, you know, a year or so later. And the students that will, said they were willing to dedicate their life to learning how to play that instrument could play significantly better than the ones who were just interested in playing. You know, that's powerful. And you can attribute that to any aspect of your life, whether, you know, it's sports, your business. I mean, whatever the case may be, if you're willing to dedicate yourself to that, if you're willing to put all of your energy or a significant portion of your energy into accomplish whatever is in front of you, you know, the odds are that, you know, you're going to, you're going to do a lot better than, you know, just, yeah, yeah, you know, I'm interested. If it happens, fine. If not, you know, that's fine too. You know, and that's the secret sauce. That's the secret sauce right there. Not just making a commitment, but committing enthusiastically. And one of the keys to doing that is having a powerful why. You know, it's one thing to say you want to do something, but having a, a powerful why for what you why you want to do it is what's going to push you through the hard times, which is what's, what's going to help you get over the adversity, which inevitably is going to come up. You know, sure you want to lose weight, but you know, is you just want to lose weight to lose weight. Why do you want to lose weight? You know, do you want to lose weight so you can look nice on the beach in the summertime? Got a, a party that you go going to, ladies, and you want to wear a nice outfit that you saw in the store to the party? You know, you want a nice house. Why do you want a nice house? You know, so you can look good and entertain for your friends? Or is it just for the sake of just wanting more things? You know, and it goes down the list. But when you have a powerful why for why you want to do something, you want to, you want a great house because you want to bring up your family, your kids in a, in a good environment, a nice environment, an environment that they can be proud of. You see, something like that is going to wake you up at 4.30 in the morning. You know, when you're used to only waking up at 6. You can wake up at 4.30 in the morning for something like that. Something to think about, folks. That's all my time for today, folks. Hopefully you learned something or were reminded of something you forgot. Either way, I'm done for the day. Peace.